If you see something, say something. But only something that's Homeland Security approved. Something suspicious, like someone eating fries with a spoon just before takeoff. Yet, if you think something suspicious, like moral dictums from the Bible, you better not say it. You could lose your job. Sensitivity training, you know, installs a police station in your brain. The crowning beast in Daniel's vision, ancient Rome, had dominion as the last world power with an emperor, governors, and an army. Today's beast functions invisibly in a hidden ring with a financial scheme, a cultural meme, a global military theme with international lobby screens and a universal propaganda stream. It's a beast battling for souls, and it burns, burns, burns that ring of fire. Today, at our very first rally, I want to welcome you to a campaign which says loudly and clearly that the underlying principles of our government will not be greed, hatred, and lies. It will not be racism, sexism, xenophobia, homophobia, and religious bigotry. What was once looked up to as religious morality is now tarred as religious bigotry. People of faith are in the crosshairs. Better not say something, you'll be called a bigot, a hate monger too. Using religion or culture to license discrimination, demoralizing LGBTQ individuals to score political points is no more justifiable around the world than it is here. And that's why Barack and I made it clear in our administration when we speak to other countries about aid and their behavior that it mattered how they treated the community. Your conscience is up for grabs. Change your social morals or you won't get U.S. aid. In China, it's called social credit. Made in China, coming to America. Got hate in your religious conscience? Your available credit drops below zero. There is no justification in any circumstances to deal with people in an inhumane way. None, none, none. Not religious, not culture, not anything, not history, period. There is no society, no nation, no civilization in any period in history that has ever cited sexual deviancy as something good for their culture. No, Joe, not one. The pages of history are full of failed states that buckled under the corrosive weight of sexual immorality and unbridled licentiousness that ate away at the pillars and institutions of their societies. But like today's beast, its mark is also invisible. Not a chip yet in a mandatory vax, nor a barcode yet encrypted on your brow, but the creeping colonization of the West Bank of the mind, a vaporous gag thrust in your mouth. And out of the vapor, locusts ascend and swarm with faces like men, hair like women, and stingers in their rears. Once pricked, you're not far from 666, for as foreshadowed inversely in the days of King Solomon, it's the measure of an antichrist financial world order, a symbol of universal subjugation. What is the uh, proper relationship, what should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. This man needs friends. Nicolas Maduro is clinging on in Venezuela, but Western powers back his rival, Juan Guaido. But he's still got something valuable to keep some countries on side. This stuff, gold. 
With the Venezuelan oil industry hit by sanctions, Mr. Maduro has had to turn to the country's mineral wealth to raise cash and make friends. Venezuela wanted to withdraw $1.2 billion of its gold stored at the Bank of England. ka -ching. But the bank said, uh-uh. Well, sanctions are a very important tool in our national security portfolio. And when we look at national security issues, we look at economic tools, we look at diplomacy, we look at national security tools, military options. So there's no question that what we're trying to do is to cut off the money to the regime that should not be in power and make sure that President Guaido has access to funds and has access to the assets of the country and to make sure we protect these assets for the people of Venezuela. Since when do banksters care about the people of any country? Sounds like the textbook definition of meddling to me. But you can keep your job. You can buy and sell. Just don't loosen the gag from your lips. The mark of the beast is tied to your silent tongue's very tip. Because we're living in an antichrist world, and as the turn of the screw keeps twisting, silence will not shelter you.